Katie Payne, you spoke glowingly about she has done such a sensational job for women in league. She started the round 10 years ago through Harvey Norman. She gives so much support and so much more that we even hear about. I do know that. So Yvonne Sampson caught up with Katie Page this week. Katie, congratulations on 10 years of women in league. Did you think a decade ago that you would be having such a positive influence and, and a recognition of women in the game? I can't believe it's 10 years, but I think what's um, the most exciting thing for me is to know that there's more than half a million girls and women involved with this game and it's in so many parts of the game. It's CEOs, it's girls playing the game, it's touch football, it's um, the volunteers that we've got and that was the whole thing. Ten years ago it was about all the girls and women that were involved in the game, not just part of the game. If I think the biggest shift in the last decade is that there are now the top roles are now more diverse. As you mentioned, we have Rebecca, we have Raylene. And of course we have you. Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> no. And, and that's the other really important thing. You know, I was turning on the television and where were the girls with the game? And now, look, you know, you're just an inspiration to so many young women coming through in sport. It's very kind of you. I'll take that. That's it's lovely. Uh, with recognising women in the game, it's important to know where we've come from, to know where we can head. What's your dream? My dream always was that it, it just became part of life, that it wasn't a male-female thing. We're all part of the game. Well, on behalf of every woman involved in rugby league, we say thank you, Katie, for all your support, because we wouldn't be here without you.